Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GCP with Mahesh. Today we'll explore how to manage access to your app engine using identity aware proxy. I already have an app engine standard instance running which outputs this message. So if anybody knows this URL, they can easily access my application. So if I want to restrict access to this application without writing any extra logic, then the answer is using identity aware proxy so let's enable identity aware proxy for this application to enable identity aware proxy click on the hamburger menu go to security and click on identity aware proxy and once the screen is loaded you will have a screen like this where the first part is to configure the consent screen click on this here we need to fill in these form details to add the consent uh, information so let's give a name as identity aware proxy demo that is the name of our application and let's leave the logo and all as default the most important thing is the authorized domains so let's add google.com that is our first domain gmail.com then let's add our own appspot.com domain also good and application home link if you want to add it you can add it or you can just leave it as default all good you can click on save now if you see the consent is updated all good now what we can do is we can go back to our identity aware proxy screen and we can do a refresh here so which will show the the content added so after refreshing the screen, you see a screen like this where it shows your appspot.com uh, domain and the app engine is there. It indicates identity aware proxy is not enabled. Just click on this, turn it on, which will turn on your IPA for this uh, application. Let's wait for this to enable. So IPA has been turned on for our app engine. All good. Now what we'll do is we'll try to access the URL. Now let's access that URL in a different browser, uh, preferably Firefox. Let's see what happens. When I do this time, so it is going to redirect and ask me to log in. So let me log in. Click on next. Let's see what happens. So even though we enabled uh, identity aware proxy, for this owner, we are getting this access denied or uh, we don't have access that message. So we'll try to fix this. Fix which I feel is these fields are mandatory when we added the consent. So looking into the documentation, I understood that these are mandatory things. So let's add our URL here and it is mentioning must be hosted on an authorized domain. These are our authorized domain. So let's update it by clicking on save. Now it's been updated. Let's give a try once again. Let's give a try one more time. We have updated those URLs. So again, let's log in. Let's log in now and see whether it works. Yes, it is working. So the update was those uh, URLs we need to add it. So that's how you can manage access to your app engine using identity aware proxy hope the video was helpful please let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a video on a specific gcp concept i'm happy to do that thanks for watching